Ladies Nation, it has been quite some time since I've been able to speak to you guys, and, and my goodness. We all expected Nikita Zaitsev to be moved. We Last time I talked to you guys, we talked about Patrick Marlowe's contract being traded away and, and how people thought about that kind of thing. Now, the Nikita Zaitsev trade, it was imminent last night, and they had to pay him the bonus to get him out of here, and that's what they did. All right, the Leafs trade Nikita Zaitsev, Connor Brown, and prospect Michael Carcone to the Ottawa Senators for defenseman Cody Ceci, Ben Harper, and as, as well as prospect Aaron Luchik. I'm going to go with that. That sounds pretty good. And as well as a third round pick in 2020. So let's break down this thing first real quick. All right. Who do we give up? Well, we got rid of Michael Carcone, a guy that the, the Leafs acquired last year uh, in a very minor, minor trade. He's 23 years of, I think it was actually in the Josh Levo deal, I think it was, actually trading Josh Levo for Michael Carcone. They trade, they acquire him. He does pretty good with the Toronto Marlies, 23 years of age though, but where is he really going to fit in this team in the future? All right. Connor Brown, now a lot of people are going to be upset about that, but me, you think, you got to think about it, people. You got to think about the whole process about what happened. Now. Connor Brown's making $2.1 million, and since that 20-goal season that he had a few years ago, he really hasn't done a whole lot offensively for this team. You know, last year he had eight goals total for the Toronto Maple Leafs. How many, I mean, at least half of those were empty netters. Now, we can say defensively he's good, and he's good in other aspects, and yeah, he isn't bad. But for Connor Brown, you go from that 20-goal season where he does get that contract and he just, I don't know, he, he wasn't a very big, big piece for this team last year. Because if any if anybody says he was, I don't know what team you were watching. Now the big fish to go back to Ottawa, Nikita Zaitsev, a guy that kind of asked for a trade out of Toronto, and I kind of respect that. And a guy that the Leafs, when we when he signed the contract last year, we're all like, uh, that's a big, 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 or I think it was two years ago, he signed a big, big, big contract. And we're like, that's a lot of money. For a lot of term, for a guy we're not sure about, and he had a, he had that injury prone season the year before, had a rough season when he was playing, and then last year, other than the playoffs, really wasn't very good for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And you got to look at that contract. You you really really have to look at it because um, he's making over the next five years, he's making four and a half million dollars. And you know, you just know for a fact. Now, when Marner gets that contract contract signed, when Travis Dermott's going to want a contract, when Morgan Riley's going to want that raise, when he got to sign Frederick Anderson, you can't have that guy locked up in money. Not to mention Mitch Marner right now, getting a contract in general. So the fact that they traded that $4.5 million cap hit for five years did not retain a single thing. It's damn good. And you didn't trade away draft picks. In fact, you got a third round pick. So what did the Leafs get back in return for those three guys? Well, they got Cody Ceci. Now, Ottawa Senator fans, I've heard nothing but not so great things about Cody Ceci. That's just all I, I got to tell you guys straight up. That's what I hear. You know, and people who love looking at stats and t statistics, he was a minus 22 last year, but Ottawa was one of the worst teams in the league. So that's just, that happens. But he did have 26 points, if you want to look at it that way. He blocked 142 shots, had 120 hits. It's not a bad thing, but again, he's not a, a prim and proper top two defenseman. We all know that. He was supposed to be drafted uh, 15th overall by the Ottawa Senators in 2012. Again, his contract was up. So what do the Leafs do? All right, Cody, we want to kind of see what you've got here. So here's a one-year, $4.5 million contract. One year. Doesn't work out. You let him go. It's a low-risk, high-reward move for the Leafs and Kyle Dubas. You get rid of that five-year monstrosity contract in Nikita Zaitsev, and you acquire the same, almost identical to the same amount of money for one year. That is going to do wonders for this team. It's going to do absolute wonders. It isn't Cody C.C. Toronto boy. He's an Ottawa. He's an Ottawa boy, so there you go. And he, I mean, he probably was a Senator fan growing up. But nonetheless, he's playing for the Leafs. And, he, and he, look, as much as Ottawa Senator fans say he's terrible, and all, I know, I get that. But now they're going to get him into a Leafs organization, grow up through training camp together, preseason together, and who knows? It might be a good fit. Zaitsev might be a good fit for the Sens. He was not for the Leafs. What else did the Leafs get back? Well, Ben Harper. I mean, he only had five points in 51 games for them. I get that. But the fact I love about this, he's 24. He's 6'6", 222. What do the Leafs not have? Size on the back end. 
You just got one. Now, is he going to be a good staple defenseman for this, you know, bottom six pairing more or less for the Leafs? I don't know. We're going to have to watch him through training camp and preseason and kind of see how it goes. But to add a guy with that much size, now he, with that size, he might be somewhat slow, right? He, I mean, he blocked, what, 69 shots in 51 games. Pretty, that's pretty good. 89 hits as well. He's a physical guy. He's a big dude. So how is that going to fit with the Leafs? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. I mean, all of these contracts, all of these trades for everybody for the Leafs here today is all wait and see. Will Zaitsev fit there? Wait and see. Will the Cody CC contract be all right for the Leafs? Wait and see. Will Ben Harper be a good player for this team? We'll wait and see. And the other player they got back, uh, where, where is he here now? Uh, Aaron Luchik, L- Luch, 22-year-old out of Kingston, Ontario. Uh, 5'10", 180. Uh, he's not a big guy. He's not, uh, I mean, I'm assuming he's going to be playing with the Marlies this year. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of him. Will he be anything for this team? I don't know. And the fact that with those three guys that you acquired, you also got back a third round pick. So not only did you get uh, a defenseman to replace Zaitsev on a much shorter contract and a, a defenseman with, I wouldn't say size, but... It's probably not high enough. And then you get a young guy and 22-year-old Luchik, who's a year younger than Carconi, if you're looking at it that way. And you get a third-round pick. Anybody who's complaining about this deal, oh, Dubas is so stupid. What are you watching? Did you miss something? Because if I'm a Leaf fan, which I am, clearly, that's a damn good trade for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They unload Zaitsev's contract. If Cody sees it doesn't, doesn't work out, oh well. Let him go to free agency at $4.5 million. Fine. Is it going to hurt you? No, it's not. You know why? Contract's done. That's why he got rid of the five years of Zaitsev and didn't retain anything from him and Patrick Marlowe. Now, with Patrick Marlowe, you had to attach a, a first-round pick with it, so it kind of hit you on that front. But you, didn't, you, you, you got something back for Nikita Zaitsev. Oh, yeah, it's because you traded Connor Brown as well, right? Connor Brown, obviously not an old guy, 25 years of age, but hasn't really found his way yet. So, and he'll probably get a legit chance to play maybe top six minutes in Ottawa. Who knows? Maybe top top nine minutes. Who knows? But for the least, it was all fourth line penalty kill time for Connor Brown. Top to get points and produce when it comes to that. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy with this move by the Leafs and Kyle Dubas. It, it does a lot of great things for this team. And the next thing is signing Mitch Marner. They get him signed. The Leafs are in the driver's seat. That means they have Tavares signed up. They have uh, Marner, Nylander, Matthews signed up for you know at least five more years. If you're looking at it from the Matthews contract perspective and the, and the Nylander contract perspective as well. If they can do that, this team is going to be great for many, many years. Because even if, like I said, even if Cody Ceci doesn't work, $4.5 million, bye-bye. You lost Ron Hainsey to free agency. You lost Jake Gardner to free agency. I don't know what's going to happen with Mitch Marner and when it's going to be done. I'm pretty sure the Leafs are going to sign him, but it's just a matter of time now. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see how it all plays out, all right? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video, and you guys like the trade for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Smack that like button to appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the, the, the video, your thoughts on the trade. Would you like, would you not like about the trade? Or do you just all around like it or do you all around hate it? Let me know in the comments below, guys. All right? And, um... And Twitter is down below, guys. If you want to message me there instead of doing it in the comment section, go do so. Twitter is down below. Follow up. Send me a DM, guys. Do all that great stuff. And I'll talk to you guys Raptors edition at some point when Kawhi Leonard signs, whether it's with Raptors or somebody else. I'm going to do a video, video nonetheless. So that will be uploaded at some point, hopefully in the next few days or so. Um, we'll talk to you guys. Jays edition tomorrow as they open up a, a three-game set against the Boston Red Sox. David Price, Trent Thornton is the pitching matchup there tomorrow night at Rogers Center. And as for the Leafs, we'll talk to you guys very shortly because I'll be talking about all the miniature signings the Leafs did as well. So with this big trade, I wanted to make it a one-video trade and, and then talk about the other signings, the Jason Spets and the Nick Shores, all that stuff. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys then.